Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras. It's Lori. I am here to do your next 48 hours. And yes, I'm talking to you too, my uh, cross watchers and channel fans. Sorry, I didn't include you right up front. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and having some fun. I'm going to get right into your reading. Next 48 hours, okay? Knight of Swords. The Five of Wands. The Eight of Swords. The Two of Swords came out in the pre-shuffle. The Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the World card. So we'll see what happens here. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Yay! The Tower. <laughs> the Hang! I mean, you guys have gotten a tower in every single reading for like a week now. Oh my goodness. This is just nuts. But it's good because it just means you're learning. These are not bad things. Opening your mind, seeing things differently, okay? And it's not that you're making the same mistake over and over again. These are always, well, it could be for some of you. Okay, if the reading is exactly the same every single time that you get the tower, I might say that. But usually it's because you're growing. You're becoming aware of something and then a new insight comes in. Okay, this, your towers have not been ego-driven killing towers. This is about um, eye-opening. We'll see what happens here. We'll see. Okay, and the page of cups, thinking outside the box. Your current energy that you are in before this reading. Okay. Oh, three of swords. Feeling betrayed came out first. Okay. Feeling like somebody really crushed your heart. Like just, oof. You just want to howl in pain from the, the betrayal. Okay. Somebody's coming to your rescue here. Somebody wants to rush in and protect you take care of you, um, send you messages of love and caring. And oh my gosh, like, and yet they can't. There's something holding them back. They may be stuck at work. They may be far away from you. Their vehicle may not be reaching, working. Their, their phone may not be working. They are as stressed out as you are right now. Somebody really, really wants to come and, and just comfort you. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. For whoever that is, you are definitely in a lot of pain. Okay. I do see here for others of you that you were definitely betrayed. You were absolutely betrayed by somebody and you are going to communicate with this person. You're going to go see this person or you're going to send them a message. You are going to take action towards this person in some way. And I, and I hope it's not physically traveling to them to like punch them in the face because I do feel like that energy is there. However, no, you're not going to physically altercate with this person. Okay. You are going to, um, Tell them that you're not co competing with them. You're done, okay? You, you're not in a competition for their affections, their attentions, or their um, kind words. It sounds, I'm, I'm hearing that from a lot of you, somebody stepped out on you for the last time, you're done, okay? Um, others of you, somebody has said the last mean thing to you, put you down, degraded you, broken your heart. You don't deserve that. And you are not taking that anymore. You are not going to do that anymore. You are learning here how to move past that, how to get outside your head. Okay. We have the card of learning right next to the page of wands, which is all a uh, pages are all about learning, exploring, trying new things. The eight of swords here, I am getting, you are learning how to release yourself and not repeat things over and over and over and over again. Ad nauseum in your head. Okay, you're sick of hearing these hurtful words from this person. You're sick of putting yourself down to make this other person, oh, no, no, it's okay that you cheated on me. No, it's not. And you're tired of this. You're tired of this going through your head. You want a fresh start here. 
you you've changed your focus okay you're going to move away from that energy into something that serves you better it will be difficult you will have sleepless nights okay but you also have the promise from spirit that you will put your burdens down and somewhere along the way there's going to be a beautiful revelation here okay this is a beautiful transformation I hear that there is going to be some sort of truth. Um, I expect to see the Ace of Swords or the King of Swords come out here. Um, because there's going to be some sort of revelation, okay? But there is a major transformation within you. Maybe that's what that revelation is, is you see the absolute truth of how you've kept yourself held back, how you kept yourself in this relationship. We all do it. Okay, it's easier to put up with what we know than to go out there and try something new. Okay, to take care of ourselves, to get out there and just do something different. I'm hearing here, though, that you're definitely thinking outside the box. You're doing that when pigs fly thing. <laughs> okay, so there's beautiful energy here. Absolutely beautiful energy. I finally got my camera angle better. I hope this is... Uh, so you can see the cards better guys let me know okay drop me a comment let me know if you like this view better is it zoomed in enough you can see the cards well all right let's go ahead and start clarifying let's start here i would like to know more about this nut knight of swords i've got an ace of pentacles already turned over you've got a brand new start here and spirit is offering you a divine new beginning I'm hearing, get on that bike, take yourself out of this situation and drive yourself right through down that road and right through that, um, what do they call it? Not an arbor, is it? The You know, take yourself out of this place. Go into a more beautiful place. There's mountains out there. There are mountains out there for you to climb. There's things for you to explore, see, do. Okay, don't stay here where the lilies that represent death are okay get out there take that path go save yourself okay judgment card just fell out while i was shuffling release your past let it go move ahead okay don't hang on to those things that don't make you feel good here's an here's a tidbit of information for you how do you know when your intuition is talking to you if you are making a decision and your gut tells you, oh, that doesn't feel so good if I do that. No, I don't think I want to do that. That's your intuition talking to you, okay? So it can come across as, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Or it can come across as the first thought, it's always the first thought, the first feeling is if you, okay, I want to get a new job. Oh my God, I, my stomach just cramped. Nope, I'm not ready for that, okay? I need to focus my attention on something different that will get me to that, okay? Maybe it's just not the right time for a new job. Whatever is going on. Maybe I'm just not comfortable with the application process. Whatever it is, my intuition just said, no, okay? Not right now. Now, if you ask yourself and you put the thing out there, I want a new job. I'd like to start my own business. And you go, yeah, that sounds fun and cool. And then you go, oh, no, I can't do that. I'm not smart enough. I don't know how to do the business stuff. You know, the first part is your intuition. The second part is your ego. That's what gets zapped. That's the part that gets zapped. The part that tells you you can't do something. Because you're the boss. You are the on, on, um emperor energy there you can take care of yourself you are more than capable i hear a lot of you have moved past that um not trusting your intuition that you do trust your intuition okay that you've worked hard to get here good for you now i also get with the um the emperor energy here that somebody could have been a little bit controlling not you um whoever you were dealing with <sighs> Could have been very cold, harsh, you know, dictator-like, okay? Sometimes that happens with the when the emperor energy comes out. 
That's who they are. Do it. I said to do it. I'm the king. I'm the emperor. Do it. Just go do it. I, you don't question me. Just go do it. Look. And that may be what led to the betrayal. Okay. That they think that they can have exactly what they want and without consequences. But you know what? That's not how you're going to be anymore. You're not going to let somebody walk all over you. Nope. You're healing. Fresh new start. Moving away from that energy. Oof. You go. Girl, guy, you go. Go get it. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. No, it's not. We already had Libra season, but celebrate yourself. Yeah. It's your birthday. Go get it. Go get it. All right. I've got a lot of crazy energies, and I do know that this is planetary alignment, and I can't do a thing about it right now. <laughs> so you're just going to have to put up with me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. So you go from being stressed to deciding that you want to plan and strategize how to get out of this energy. I said that earlier. You are planning things that you can do to give you a fresh new start, a new perspective. How to bring joy and happiness. And you do see this is all yellow back here. That's happiness, okay? That's clarity of vision. That's the sun shining, okay? So happiness and joy and bliss because you're 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 trying to figure out what you need to do to get yourself out of this energy and into that energy. And isn't it funny that this goes from here to yellow here? Yeah, you've got decisions you have to make. And the only person who can make them is you. There's that six of swords. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I felt that there was going to be a huge victory, a huge win here, an elevation, an understanding, a learning. Okay, that's what the the uh, laurel wreath is all about. Understanding, wisdom, education. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Austin Powers just got channeled through me. <laughs> I did have never seen that movie either. I have never actually seen that. Okay, Page of Wands. Look at this. I knew the I knew the Ace of Swords was coming out here. There's going to be some sort of revelation within you, okay? You come to a re revelation, an understanding, a truth that cannot be denied anymore. And it makes you excited and passionate and ready to go take charge of your life and try new things. And you are excited and now you're focused and you're ready. Go get them. Go get it. I love it. I knew that card would come out. And there's the King of Swords right behind it. I said both those cards. Either one of those cards. That is a final decision on your part, my lovely, lovely Libras. You are determined. You're like, that's it. This is my decision. And I'm the only one who can make that decision. Oh my goodness, love your readings. You guys are getting very interesting readings here lately. They're starting to change. I love that because you're closing out those cycles. You're not staying stagnant anymore. Yeah, when people say, why doesn't the readings ever change? Why are they always the same for like a, a month or two? Well, guess what? If you're not changing things, <laughs> nothing can change. The story is what the story is. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the Six of Swords is. Yep. Oh, my goodness. That just made me think of, uh, I don't know why, um, giving you a warning about the uh, WhatsApp people. If you ever see a WhatsApp number in my comments where somebody wants to share something with you, do not ever click on that, please. Anytime, just report them. There's three little dots next to their comment. Click that and it will say report. Just report it. Nobody knows it's you. Just let's get rid of these scammers, okay? Six of Swords is being clarified by the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands upside down. That tells me you put the burden down and you've moved on and you're clarifying the six of swords here, which is all about moving on. I just heard some of you will be physically moving. Like across water. So some of you may be moving across the pond. Some of you may be moving across from one side of a river to another. Some may be going to a foreign country. 
but there's some sort of, for a lot of you, there's actual physical water that you'll be driving around, crossing over, flying over, on a boat, going over. Yeah. I just saw a fairy, too. So some of you are definitely moving physically here. All right, so you've put the burden down. It's behind you. Woof, you've taken the lessons with you. That's why you still have this card, because you've taken the lessons that you learned from that, okay? And now you're putting them to good use. You're working with what you've learned. I'm also hearing that this is helping you to reconnect with people that you have left in the past. So people that maybe network, people that you liked and maybe your person didn't like, okay? So you may be reconnecting with old friends. This does not have to be an old lover, okay? Just because it's the past does not mean it's romantic. And it also does not mean it's painful. Nine times out of ten, it means that it's a joyous, happy, innocent connection. Something that makes you feel good. So let's get away from that energy. Okay, look at this. Making the magic happen. Oh, you've learned. You're working on. You are actively working on filling your, your cup of love. You are taking time for yourself. You are reconnecting with the things that you enjoy doing in life. You are taking time to just be quiet, meditate, think, experience, delve into who you are, okay? Because once you know who you are, you've got your authentic self. You've got your true north. You know what's how to react. No, you know how to respond when somebody throws a curveball at you because you already have your boundaries up. That's what you're working on here. Look at that. Yeah, you're you're working on making sure that your cup of love is filled before you let anybody make another decision about your life. Beautiful. No more heartache. Yep. Time for joy, happiness, celebrations in the Six of Swords and Six of Swords. Both there. You're moving into a much happier better place. You're working on it. You're working towards getting your cup of love, filling your own cup of love. And that's not from somebody else. That's you doing it. That's you filling your cup with the things that make you feel good. Okay. Not your interactions with other people. This is about you, not you dating other people. This is, if it's, if you like hanging out with a particular friend, yeah, that's fine. But even that's not what filling your cup of love is about. Filling your cup of love is all about focusing on you. Literally. Okay? Your alone time. Look at this. we got the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You've been stuck in that energy for a very long time. You have been stuck there for a very long time. Guess what? You're about to face your demons and get out there and get started. Oh, I love you guys. You're facing your challenges. This is awesome. I mean, I say that because you go from the Nine of Swords right to the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's putting your burdens down. You're facing your demons. You're done. You're not going to go through this anymore. Oh, boy. Okay, I can see the Four of Swords, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess here. And on the very bottom is the Five of Wands there. Okay, so we have something about taking a step back, healing. Oh, you're ready to take charge. You're ready to get out there and be a boss. Oh, boy. Okay, what's going on here, my lovely, lovely Libras? You're showing up here. Okay. Oh, towards a happy home got the king of wands here and the queen of wands down here you may have a soulmate coming in down the road oh it could be a, a person you're already involved with um for the first time this doesn't feel like the future this feels like the past so this feels like stuff that you may have already dealt with all right let's go ahead and see what the nine of swords says for you Clarification of the Nine of Swords here, please, Spirit. What have you got for us? 
Yeah, having to get us back up to speed here. Get us in the current energies. Takes as long as it takes. Patience is a virtue. Anybody know what a virtue is? Drop it, the definition of a virtue in the comments. Because I'm sure there's some people that do not know that word. It's not a word we use very much anymore. Two of Wands. Once you make up your mind what direction you want to go into, the stress stops. You don't have to fear anything anymore, okay? Not a tower moment, not a new job. Once you make a decision on what you want, where you want to go, what you want to do, that's when you get to put the burdens down and that's when you change your destiny, okay? That's showing that you can stand on your own two feet and take care of yourself that you're capable, that you have everything you need. This is a person of independence, okay? It can represent entrepreneurship too and making these boss-like decisions. Emotional um, stability, okay? Not crying over spilt milk. Things are done. Things are over with. Cannot go to the past and change them. You are forcing your own wheel of fortune to turn in your favor. Love that. Look at that. Once you per put this burden down, you feel much better. You feel the healing already beginning. You feel the divine protection. A new day is dawning for you. A clear path appears for you. Okay? You've got one foot in and one foot out. So you're still transitioning between who you were and where you want to go. And that's what's happening here. Okay. You're going to discover new things about. Stop turning on. Why is that Google keep turning it on? All right. You're going to discover your abundance, your happiness, how to be there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know what to say about your readings anymore. You are discovering how to be happy, how to be abundant. That is what this tower moment is. Bringing in your happy home, your happy life, whether that's with a ton of people or just yourself and a dog or a cat or nobody, just yourself. It does not matter. You are in alignment with yourself and your higher power and you are achieving goals, happiness, bliss balance, harmony. You're thinking outside the box. You're being creative. That's what I'm hearing. That's what the tower is. An inspiration is coming to you like a muse. You're finally connecting to your truth and you're getting downloads and informations from your higher power. You're connecting. That's a zap. Woof. I'm connected. That's exactly what that tower is. Embrace that tower because look what the heck that tower brings in. And it brings in harmony, peace, and blessings, and happiness, and joy, and the sun, and thinking outside of the box. New ways. And look who's right behind that card. There you are, my Libras. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> See ya, I think. Anyways, um... <laughs> Ah, balance, harmony. You've got blessings coming. You've got more things coming to you. Good things are coming to you. There's the page of cups. There's the page of cups. Got that creative thinking hat on. Oh my goodness. You are bringing in so much bliss, joy, happiness for yourself. This is fantastic. I love this reading for you guys. Oh my gosh. So happy. So, so happy for you. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Let's see how many likes we can get on this one because this is a really good, good reading. Okay, so like, tap, tickle, cl um, click the like button. Let's see how many we can get. Show the like button some love there. Yeah, claim this message if you think this is you. Claim it, claim it, claim it. All right, and I hope it's every single person that hears this message. I hope it's you. I really do. Okay, clarifying this page of cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, something that came that's very, very slow moving. Look at this, has finally arrived. Something you have been working on to fix, to make happen, it's here. 
it has arrived. That night has arrived. It's been a long freaking time in coming. And there it is. There it is. Right there, front and center for you. And that's your absolute truth. And that's, what do they say? <laughs> they used to say, and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, look at that. Look at that. You now have the sword, King of Swords, and you have the uh, star card here. Truth, hope for a new day, healing, bliss, joy. Again, that magical um, energy flowing through you, being connected to your higher power, being feeling protected and guided. And oh my gosh, I'm going to need a nap. This energy has been so high. All of your readings today have been incredible. Okay, so you might be receiving a message pretty soon. Or you're watching somebody or somebody's watching you. And look at this. I got to say, that's only one card off on the split there. Oh, two. What's down there? See, focusing on yourself, love. Yep, there's that message coming in for you. Somebody wants to offer you something too because they see your... Those are equal. Look at that. <sighs> Somebody's coming in for you. There is a soulmate coming in. I don't know why that card keeps turning. All right. Incredible reading. I definitely am going to have to have a nap. Thank God it's not too late in the day. <sighs> what am I looking for here? This is your next 48 hours? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You have major things coming in very quickly. And you know what? When we have heartbreak, that's the impetus to make us move. That's the thing that causes us to get out of our comfort zone and bring in beautiful things. So, yes, this will happen to most of you within 48 hours. Okay? Like, it will happen. And then over the next 48 hours, all of this will transpire. Okay, oof, oofy doofy oofy, seven of swords, two of swords, the ace of swords, the queen of cups, and the page of pentacles. There's that brand new offer. Somebody's coming in with an offer, an invitation, a date. Um, I'm also hearing for some of you, it's a seed. A, a seed's going to be planted in your brain. Yes, I did just hear Simon and Garfunkel, The Sounds of Silence. And that's why it got quiet in here. Queen of Cups, you realize when you connect to your higher power, okay? When you do that and you release all of the tension, all of the worries, all of the trying to control things, when you release that, up to the divine and you listen for their advice and their guidance, you find it. You find a peaceful, happy, joyous place, okay? You find a sense of calm, peace, clarity, truth. This is the Ace of Swords twice in this reading. We've seen the King of Swords twice in this reading. And I said if at the beginning of this reading, I would be very surprised if I did not see the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Or the King of Swords, I guess I actually said. But you gain a sense of peace, clarity, truth, honesty, um, understanding. Just It's a beautiful revelation here. Beautiful revelation. The blinders are off. Okay? These are something that are... These blinders are just slipping away. The tower. Okay? You're seeing things clearly now. And I'm hearing coming into alignment. Now... Ravens are meant to be Odin's um, messengers, okay? So I'm hearing that, you know, your higher power has sent a message to you to take those blinders off. And that's what they, they're trying to do. They're trying to cut the cords here, release whatever it is that was holding you back, okay? And you acknowledge, you do acknowledge something was holding you back and you are ready to release this. So the blinders are off. I love it. Absolutely love this. And now you're strategizing again. Okay, you're taking blessings from Odin or your higher power or whoever. It's the ravens that are delivering. 
okay? These blessings right here. You're taking this information, this these signs, these synchronicities, these things that look like coincidences, but they're not coincidences. You're taking those blessings and putting them to good use, planning on your future. How can I protect myself? What do I need to do? Okay. I just heard somebody's leaving a paper trail. Somebody is leaving a trail to be followed. But I'm hearing it's a protection thing. All right, so somebody out there may feel like what they're leaving behind may be dangerous, okay? It, that does happen. So if you are in a relationship that you are not feeling safe in, leaving written documentation of what's pr transpired so that you can move past it, whatever it is, there is some sort of trail being left, okay? I don't see a bad ending. I don't. I just see it as like documentation that maybe would be used in court, that type of thing, okay? I want two more cards on that, please, Spirit. Look at that. The Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, whatever this is that you see, another trail. You're just leaving some sort of trail, something that can be traced, something that can be um, recorded, documented, and looked at again. And that really does bring in your wish fulfilled, okay? It takes care of whatever that situation is. And I will say that these cards are separate, this message was just for a couple of people, that Seven of Swords, okay? So you, actually it starts here with the Two of Swords. This is the finish of the reading, okay? The Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This was a sidebar from Spirit for somebody, all right? When we got set Two and Seven, which is Nine, anchored with a King, or the Knight of Pentacles here, something that comes in, um, good message, good information, and it makes you very, very happy. Love that for you guys. All right. I think that's enough. I think we need to stop right there. Oh, I forgot to roll the Zodiac die, so we will do that. All right. So we have Cancer. We have Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Leo, and Taurus. Okay. These may be people that you're dealing with. These may be... I think we've got something in Gemini happening right now, but I can't remember. My head is pounding right now, and my nose is completely clogged. It's But I'm exhausted, too. Look at the energy I've expended here. <laughs> you guys have had a beautiful, blissful reading here, okay? So I feel like somebody's asking for something. I don't know what to... Like, give me a, just a second. I'll see if I can figure it out. Huh. All right. All I can hear is numbers. That's what I, I, I'm hearing, like repeated numbers. Is it two? Is it four? Is it eight? Is it nine? Okay, let's just see. All right, eight. <laughs> eight showed up now for me. I've also, okay, for me, this particular dice has become my yes or no die. So anything from one, two, five, including the number five, is a no. Anything from 6, including 6 to 12, is a yes. So we have here an 8 as a yes or no answer, and that means yes. The other numbers on this card, I noticed we have 2 and 7, 7 and 2, okay? And I said anything up to 12, 12 is there. So take that as it resonates. I am going to leave it there because I really do want to go get some water and a nap. So I love you guys to pieces. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, um, share, tap the uh, bell icon so that you know when the videos come out. Check out the description box. All right. I love you guys to pieces. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.